Hello everyone, welcome back to aking YouTube channel. So for today's video, ang lesson natin for today is all about solving for sides and diagonal of parallelogram. Our objectives are solve for the sides and diagonals of parallelograms. Use properties to find measures of sides and diagonals involving parallelograms. Number three, state the different properties of a parallelogram. So, first, we have a given parallelogram care. Babanggitin muna natin yung mga properties na mga gamit natin sa pag-solve ng side and diagonal ng ating parallelogram. Unang-una dyan is the property of parallelogram in which any two opposite sides are congruent. So, we have segment CA is congruent to segment ER. Segment CE is congruent to segment AR. Kapag sinabi natin congruent, ibig sabihin equal sila sa isa't isa. So, pangalawang properties, property na magagamit natin sa pag-solve ng side and diagonal is yung property of parallelogram in which the diagonals bisect each other. So, we have in diagonal CR, yan, meron tayong segment CS is congruent to segment SR. Congruent sila, equal sila sa isa't isa. So, in diagonal AE, segment AS is congruent to segment SE. Itong mga property na ito ay ma gagamit natin sa paghahanap ng sides and diagonal of parallelogram. So, let's have an example. Parallelogram calm if the length of segment CA is equal to 4x minus 9 centimeters and segment ML is, congru is equal to x plus 6 centimeter, segment CM is equal to 3y minus 5 centimeters and segment AL is equal to y plus 9 centimeter, find the value of each of the following. So let's find the value of x, y, segment CA, segment AL, and the perimeter of parallelogram con. So let's find first letter A, which is the x. So paano natin mahanap si x? Anong, anong segment ba yung merong variable na X, si segment CA tsaka si segment ML. Since si segment CA at si segment ML ay congruent sa isa't isa, in our parallelogram column, segment CA is congruent to segment ML. So, substitute lang natin yung value ni segment CA at ni segment ML. So, we have... 4x minus 9 equals x plus 6. So after that, we, we use the addition property of equality para mailipat si constant term tapos si x na variable dito. Iko combine like terms natin sila. So we have 4x minus x equals 6 plus 9. 4x minus x is equal to 3x. Equals 6 plus 9 is equal to 15. So, uh, to isolate 3, we need to divide both sides by 3. No? Para matira na lang si x. Kasi si x yung hinahanap natin. So, 3x divided by 3 is equal to x. 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. So, the value of our x is 5. Next is to find y. So, yung segment na merong variable na y ay si segment CM at si segment AL. Segment CM and segment AL. Since si segment CM is congruent kay segment AL sa ating parallelogram column, isa substitute lang natin yung value nila. So, we have 3y minus 5 equals y plus 9. So, let's apply the addition property of equality para mapagsama 
yung constant at yung mga may variable. So, we have 3y minus y equals 9 plus 5. 3y minus y is equal to 2y. 9 plus 5 is equal to 14. So, to isolate 2 at para matira si y, we need to divide both sides by 2. 2y divided by 2 is equal to y. 14 divided by 2 is equal to 7. So, the value of our y is 7. So, let's find segment CA. Kung ano yung value niya. Since ang x natin ay equal kay 5, then segment CA is equal to 4x minus 9. So, isa-substitute lang natin yung nakuha nating value ni x dito sa ating equation. So, meron tayong 4 times 5 equals 9. Saan ang galing si 5? Si 5 ay galing sa value ni x. Sinubstitute lang po natin. So, we have 4 times 5 is equal to 20. 20 minus 9 is equal to 11 centimeters. So, the value of segment CA is 11 centimeter. Next, let's find segment AL. Since y is equal to 7, then segment AL is equal to y plus 9. So, substitute natin ulit yung value na nakuha natin kay y dito sa ating equation. So, we have 7 plus 9. 7 plus 9 is equal to 16 centimeter. So, the value of our segment AL is 16 centimeter. So, let's have the perimeter of parallelogram cam. To find the perimeter of parallelogram cam, we need to add the value of all sides. Since the segment CA ay 11 cm at congruent siya kay segment ML, 11 cm din ang sukat ni segment ML. And segment AL is equal to 16 at congruent si segment AL kay segment CM. So, si segment CM ay 16 cm din. So, kailangan lang natin i-add lahat ng value. We have 11 cm. 11 plus 11, 22 plus 16, 38 plus 16 equals 54. So, the perimeter of parallelogram cam is 54 centimeter. Let's have example number 2. We have the given parallelogram care. The measure of segment DA is equal to 15. Segment DE is equal to 3Y. Segment CD is equal to X minus 3. And segment DR is equal to negative 3X minus 35. So, Let's find the value of X, Y, segment CD, segment CR, and segment EA. So let's proceed with letter A. So, ano ba yung mga segment na merong variable na X? Meron tayong segment CD and segment DR. And since segment CD ay congruent kay segment DR, i-equal natin sa isa't isa yung ating mga X. Expression. So, substitute natin. So, we have x minus 3 equals negative 3x minus 35. And then, we use the addition property of equality to combine like terms. No? To combine the variable x and the constant term. So, we have x plus 3x equals 3 minus 35. And then, Let's simplify. x plus 3x is equal to 4x. And 3 minus 35 is equal to 32. We have 4x equals 32. So, to isolate 4, we need to divide both sides by 4 para matira si x. So, we have 4x divided by 4 is equal to x. And 32 divided by 4 is equal to 8. 
So the value of our x is 8. So let's proceed with letter B. Let's find y in diagonal AE. AE. DE is congruent to DA. Okay? Gagamitin naman natin si segment DA at si segment DE. So let's substitute. We have 3y equals 15. Since hindi na natin siya gagamitan ng addition property of equality, proceed na tayo sa pagde-divide to isolate 3. Okay? So we need to divide both side by 3. 3 divided by y is equal to y, and 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. So the value of our y is 5. Next is to find segment CD. No, kailangan natin hanapin si segment CD. So ang value ni segment CD ay x minus 3. Since si x ay equal kay 8, isa substitute lang po natin yung value ni x doon sa ating expression. So, we have cd equals x minus 3. Substitute natin yung value ni x, which is 8. We have 8 minus 3. 8 minus 3 is equal to 5. So, the measure of segment cd, segment cd, i 5. Okay, so, let's proceed kay letter D, segment cr. Hanapin natin sa segment cr, yung kabuoan na diagonal. Since si CD po ay equal kay 5 and si CD ay congruent kay DR, so ang value din ni DR ay 5. So para makuha natin yung kabuang measure ni segment CR, we need to add CD and DR. Substitute lang natin yung value ni CD which is 5 and ang value ni DR ay 5 Then Since congruent sila, we have 5 plus 5. 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. So, CR, segment CR is equal to 10. So, let's proceed kay segment EA. Buong diagonal din. Okay? Since DA, kanina, segment DA, ang value niya ay 15, and si DA, si DA ay congruent kay DE, no? Same dun sa ginawa natin kay letter D, kay segment CR. Ia-add natin yung si segment DA tapos si segment DE para makuha si segment EA. So, we have 15 plus 15 is equal to 30. So, the value of EA, segment EA, I 30. I hope you're learning!